Those seven candidates all want to get to the same place as President Trump and Biden, Washington, D.C. That's where we begin our live team coverage of the race to the White House with Kaplan News reporter Paloma Pimentel live. The seven GOP presidential candidates expressed their position on immigration, foreign policy and the economy, while scarcely going over topics such as climate change, gun rights and abortion rights. There were also divisive comments about the war in Ukraine and relations with China. Our interest to end this war, and that's what I will do as president. We are not going to have a blank check. We will not have U.S. troops, and we're going to make the Europeans do what they need to do. Our national vital interest is in degrading the Russian military. By degrading the Russian military, we actually keep our homeland safer. We keep our troops at home. Just because American Putin people. is not an e Putin's an evil dictator does not mean that Ukraine is good. This is a country that has banned 11 opposition parties. A win that has for actually, Russia is a that win is not for true. China. We're driving a win Russia. For Russia. Excuse is a me. Win for China. Excuse me. If you have but a chance, I forgot you like you'll China. Have, That's no, why you, you're. You'll have you'll have your chance in just a moment. Yeah. You'll, the hurling personal insults isn't helping. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump skipped the evening debate on Wednesday and prioritized an event in Detroit where he joined protesters in the auto workers strike. And you know who else is missing in action? Donald Trump is missing in action. He should be on this stage tonight. He owes it to you to defend his record. Even though Trump remains the front runner, the front runner in the race, they, the GOP candidates fought real hard to replace him and become the next Republican president of the United States. I am Paloma Pimentel in D.C. reporting for Captain News.